have come to the Mayan landmark that is Chichen Itza and we have come with pure intentions. We intend on preaching the gospel but will these be perceived as pure intentions by the people that are here wanting to enjoy these things and you know fetishize these ancient things that have happened? We don't know but it's a possibility that we might get expelled from the premises so we're gonna see perhaps if that will happen. We're here in uh, the Chichen Itza area. We wanted to come here on a Sunday. Apparently that's supposed to be the busiest day. And there's tourists from all over the world that come here. We're talking uh, 10,000 people per day visit uh, this site, which is an old Mayan site. And we know that sacrifices and things like that took place here. Uh, but really just overcoming the difficulties that we've had. We had a three hour drive here really trying to make sure that we get here at the best part of the day. Uh, we don't know exactly how much of our equipment we're gonna be able to bring in, but we're gonna film as best as we can. We're gonna preach the gospel, we're gonna give them truth, and uh, we'll see how the day ends, but um, just trying to obey God and reach as many people as we can with the gospel. Look at this. What does this symbolize? What do you think when you see this? right next to a Jesus on a cross. My friend, Hola, amigo. mi amigo. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you understand what all of this symbolizes and represents? You have Jesus on the cross, but then you have it right next to a dagger with a skull. This is the calendar. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Calendar. Okay. Yes. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? This is symbolic of child sacrifice, yeah, human my, sacrifice. My sacrifice. Yeah, but you, do you think it's okay that they did this? I think, no, no more, no more. You like can English. translate. Malice. Senor. De lo malo. De lo malo. De lo malo. Are you selling life or death? Que estas, que que estas, es la muerte. Es la muerte. Es la muerte. Yeah. Yeah. So, at least you're honest. But I would just encourage you to think about what you're selling. Uh, ¿Y este tienda es tuyo o solo es un vendedor? This Yo is, soy un vendedor. It's like I'm just... I, I'm what just, is this? Yo, Santa Santa is this Santa Muerte? Sí, la Santa, la Santa Muerte <laughs> is evil. No, no, no bueno. sí. Sí. Santa para la muerte. Sí. The theme here is death. We want you to have life. Life is in sí. Jesucristo. Sí, sí. sí, la 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 vida es, es la vida eterna. La vida eterna. But you, I believe that if you trust in God, Yo creo que si tú confías en el Señor, and you live for Him, y vives por él, he, you can come out here and sell y, things that represent life. And if you are pure in your business, si estás puro en su negocio, God will bless you even greater than you can imagine. Pagan para they, they vender. Sí, me, sí. I me pagan. Yo okay. Okay. This is not my no es mi. Sí, no es mi. Yo soy presbiteriano. Yo soy presbiteriano. Yo solo me pagan para vender. Like they just pay sí. me because it's a job. Sí, okay. para Can we pray for you, amigo? ¿Podemos orar por ti? Sí, claro. Sí, somos también creemos en Jesucristo. Sí, así es. Oremos. ¿Cómo te llamas? Sergio. Sergio. Father God, in the name of Jesus. We lift you up, glorify you. Be with Sergio, Lord. Bless his steps, bless his path. Help him to surrender his heart to you. Bring repentance to his home. Help him to give you his whole soul. All his heart and his mind. All his strength. Lord God, help him to be a testimony. Forgive him for his sins. Bless him. Increase his livelihood. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. If there's still those curses along the land, or amongst the land, exactly. where people are still living in these curses, not knowing that what the truth is. And so we're just here to spread that word of God, spread the truth, so people can come to the realization of, of what God really wants because God hates idolatry. Anything that comes against him, or if there's any other, that, anything that tries to replace him, God is a jealous God. And he only, he only can serve one God. And many people think that they can serve Christ in, in their religion, but they have not been born again. They still aren't open and, and have the truth revealed to them. 
And you know, when we when we preach, we preach out of love so that the people can receive the message and at least open up, try to open up their understanding that the, that the seed would fall into good soil. And that, that's why we're here. We just need to continue to, to, to bring truth into a dying world, amen? Amen. God bless you, my friends. Dios me lo bendiga, mis amigos. We're here today to lift up the name of Jesus. So that you can know that He is Lord. That He loves you and He cares about you. And it is not the will of God that any should perish. So we go all over the world so that you might hear the gospel of Christ. Because we're running through life. And sometimes God has to send us. To chase you down. So that you might know that a good God sent his son to die for you. And salvation is only found in Jesus Christ. He is the author and finisher of our faith. In him there is life. In him there is light. In him there is power. Seek first the kingdom of God, my friends. And all of his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. Choose this day who you will serve Mexico. Tourists from all over the world. Choose this day who you will serve. We cannot romanticize these ancient evil religions. Religions that represent death and human sacrifice. And we have vendors out here that are trying to make money off of the idea of death. But it's important that we understand that Jesus Christ is life. Pero es importante que entendemos Jesucristo es vida. Mis amigos, my amigos, friends, amigos, repent for your sin. Seek Jesus Christ today. Busca Jesús hoy. Find life at the cross. Busca vida en la cruz. The salvation of your soul is in Jesus. Jesucristo dijo, yo soy el camino, la verdad y la vida. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way to the Father except through Him. He is the light in the darkness. He will be the friend in time of need. He will be the anchor for your soul. And we are unashamed of the gospel. For we know that it is the power of God. For salvation. To all who believe. Do you believe? What do you believe? We believe that mask will save us. But only Jesus will save us. We believe that vaccines are the answer. But I tell you today that Jesus is the answer. And we're putting our faith in the things of this world. We're trying to find answers in the things that man has created. And we worship the created rather than the creator. There is only one God. One Lord, Jesus Christ. One faith. One baptism. And pure religion. Undefiled before God is good. And it is this. To pursue peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. And this is the greatest commandment. To love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind and strength. To give Him everything and to glorify Him. 
And the second commandment is this. To love your neighbor as yourself. And all of the commandments are in this. That if we love God. If we love each other. The world can be a better place. But sin has eaten us up. And de deception is moving across the face of the earth. And darkness has swallowed us up. Y las tinieblas nos consume. And we need a rescue. Pero necesitamos ser rescatado. We need to be rescued from that pit. Rescatado por ese pozo. And Jesus will pick you up and breathe life into your soul. Y Jesús te levanta y te respira vida en su alma. He'll give you power to overcome the bad things in your life. Da poder para vencer las cosas malas en su vida. To overcome the sin. Para vencer el pecado. And to pursue righteousness. Para seguir justicia. The Bible declares. La Biblia declara. That we should fear God. And depart from evil. But without Jesus, we cannot do this. When Jesus lives in the heart, we have the power to overcome. Overcome what you say. Overcome the sin. Overcome the depression. Overcome the, de uh, the deception of the mind. The anxiety and the fear. We're eaten up with worry. And we travel the world. Seeking fulfillment in life. Look to Jesus. Look to Mount Zion. Look to a kingdom that is eternal. And in Jesus you f can find your inheritance. We can be heirs and joint heirs in the kingdom of God. He has promised us that if we belong to Jesus, that he has gone to prepare a place for us. That where he is, there we may be also. Seek life, my friends. Repent for your sins. Repent for the kingdom of God has come near to you. Tourists from around the world, seek life in Jesus. Be not conformed with the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And in, in Jesus you can be rescued from darkness. And he'll bring you from death. And bring you into life. From darkness into light. From the pit to the palace. And you can sit and eat with him. And he will feed you with the bread of life. There's so many Americans out here. I know you've heard the gospel. We have free will. It's not about a religion. It's not about going to a church or paying tithes. It's not, it's not about being good enough for God. Because you cannot be good enough for God. We are sinners in need of a Savior. We have all sinned and fallen short of His glory. But God, in His wisdom, sent His Son Jesus to die for you so that through the shedding of His blood you might have life in Him. There is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. There's no life in the darkness of this world. In Jesus there is life. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus we find the hope that we are looking for. Choose this day who you will serve. You don't have to fix your life and then go to God. Run to Jesus just the way you are. Realizing what he has done for you. That he was the perfect sacrifice 
sacrificio perfecto. That his blood was spilled. Que su sangre estaba derramado. And he had been prophesied to come for a very long time. Ha sido profetizado que él iba a venir. And he fulfilled many prophecies. Y cumplió muchas profecías. And he laid down his life on the cross. Y él entregó su vida en la cruz por ti. As the substitute for us. Como el substituto para nosotros. So that we can be bought by the blood of Jesus. Podemos ser comprado por el sangre de Jesús. And spared from the wrath to come. So that we can reign with him in eternity. So that we don't face the judgment of God. Okay, we'll go. God bless you. Dios bendiga. So that we don't face the wrath of God. Be not deceived, my friends. God is not mocked. Dios no se puede burlar. What a man sows, that he shall also reap. Donde uno se sem, una, una sembra, uno se cosecha eso. If we sow in the flesh, we will reap destruction. Si sembramos en la carne, cosechamos destrucción. If we sow in the spirit, we reap life everlasting. Si sembramos en la, el espíritu, cosechamos vida para la eternidad. We're sowing in faith. Estamos sembrando en fe. Believing what Jesus has done, amigos. Believing in Jesus that his grace is sufficient that his power is perfected in our weakness. Repent, my friends. Run to the cross. In Jesus, your hope can be found. There is only one way to eternal life. In Jesus, we run. And we give him everything. The Bible says that any man seeking to follow him must put his hand to the plow and never look back. That we must count the cost. That any man seeking to build a tower or a big building they must first sit down and determine the cost. And as Christians, we have determined the cro- co- we have determined that cost. That to follow Jesus, it will cost us everything. But we have a promise that is found in Jesus. In a hope that is to come. That we have a room in paradise. In in Jesus. He's prepared a place for us, my friend. Because he loves you. He doesn't want you to die in your sin. And you cannot earn the salvation of God. It is a free gift by grace through faith. And the compassion of God is with you today. And we're here today risking our comfort. Risking our ability to even be here. So that you might hear the truth that is found at the cross of Christ. He has said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Come to me. All who are weary who labor who are heavy laden I will give you rest Jesus spoke this in the book of John he has promised that he is the bread of life that he is the resurrection and the life and we can find hope in him my friends be not deceived don't let your hope be found in things of this world we don't care what people think about us because we are desperate for your soul we are desperate for you to know the love of God found in Jesus Christ because one day you're going to die and many of you are going to wish you had another chance another opportunity and it will not be there and he'll say depart from me you workers of iniquity I never knew you 
received the part of the two obreros de iniquidad. Nunca te conocí. But as believers, we long for a kingdom that is to come. Pero como creyentes esperamos un reino que es por venir. And we give them all our hearts. Y entregamos todo nuestro corazón. So that in that day, para en ese día, when we stand before God, para donde paramos adelante when we Dios, stand before our Savior, donde paramos adelante de nuestro Salvador, He will say, well done, decir, Bien hecho, my good and faithful servant. Enter into my rest. Entra mi descanso. And he will prepare a place for you at his table. Un lugar en su mesa. And you can eat with him. Comer con dine with him. Comer con rule with him. Con that he's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. Un nuevo cielo y Be not deceived, my friends. This earth shall be burnt up with fire. And judgment will fall upon this land. We cannot romanticize ancient evil things. Do we understand how many children and people were sacrificed to demon gods? And we say, how dare you speak against these things? It's a culture. But how often you speak against my Jesus and you believe it's okay even when it's the very sustenance of who I am. So we're here today to stand up for righteousness and truth that your truth is found only in Jesus Christ. Read your Bible. The Holy Word of God is there to get you through life. And He is giving us the opportunities that we seek. He's giving us the chances that we need to find life, eternal life. We're almost done. We're almost done. So my friends, repent. Now is the time. Seek first the kingdom of God and all His righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Hear the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Let every valley be exalted. And every mountain and high hill be made low. Let the crooked places be made straight. And the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all eyes will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Jesus is coming back. Jesus Christ. King of glory, mi amigo. Jesus Christ. He is coming back. On the clouds of the sky. And it's not later. It's very soon. Even now. He is at the door. Maranatha. Even now. Come Lord Jesus. Jesus. Repent, my friends. Now is the time. Amen. Amen. Y amen. Amen. Man, I, I'm just amazed at what God can do, really just not knowing what to expect as we go into a place, not knowing, but then God gives us complete and total freedom. Grace is in this place, all right? Whether people received, whether people denied, whether people mocked, some people were like giving us thumbs down, some people were waving to give us thumbs up. I'm unashamed of the gospel. Amen, amen. If you're a young evangelist, I wanna encourage you right now. You're not going to get to the place where we're at on day one, all right? What we do, it's not by might, nor by power, but by Him. Through His Spirit alone, we give God all the glory that man's flesh is weak and you cannot determine in your mind that you're going to do something like this over and over again in a variety of places around the world in the human flesh. You can't do it. You might if you just have something wrong with you. Maybe you have a greater strength than me. I don't know. I know I can't do it. I rely on God's power continually. It takes prayer. It takes unity. 
We see grace moving. We see power in His Spirit moving when we stand together by faith, remembering His promises that He is faithful to never leave us, never forsake us. So no matter what, we come out here, we preach, no matter what happens, they put us in shackles and take us out of here in a van, we know that our God is faithful because we're preaching the gospel in faith and if we're in His will, He's never going to leave us. That's His promise. We can't doubt ever that unbelief, it kills faith. You can't have unbelief and faith at the same time. Amen, amen. You have total faith in God. You trust in His ability to protect you. Not just that He can, but absolutely that He will if you are in His, uh, in His will, in His perfect will. Okay? So be encouraged, young evangelist. Be encouraged, young man or woman of God. Wherever you're at, do the work of God that He has called you to, whatever purpose that might be. And we give Him all the glory today for everything He's done. We love Jesus so much. What an amazing day. We didn't know. We talked about earlier, we're we gonna have power. Yeah, we're we gonna expect, have a, right? yeah, we're gonna have freedom. As soon as we talk, we can get 20 seconds in, they're gonna kick us out of here. We don't know. But here we are. But, but God gives us grace to continue forward, right? Amen. In those places that we think that, that we're not gonna be able to do anything, God opens up the door and people hear, people listen, right? And like you were saying, we don't know who is taking it to heart, but there are some people, there are other believers that are here just for the sites, but, uh, we hope to encourage them to go out and do the same thing, to see what we're doing and that they would do the same thing, right? That's, that's kind of what our, what, our, what our heart is for and, and people would be transformed uh, from hearing the truth. But you know, what, is, what, is, what are our priorities in life? What are we striving for? Are we striving to, for the, just the necessities of life, for God to provide the basics? Or are we actually striving to put the kingdom of God first? Mm -hmm. That that kingdom would come down and be established everywhere we go. This is the kingdom being established before you. And if everybody was to take on to it and, and, and grasp it and to do this, this whole world could be transformed. And, and that's what we're hoping that you would also do to take to heart and, and do that work God has called you to do. You know, fear is a very real thing. And a lot of people are afraid to get out there because they don't want persecution. They don't want to be disrespected. They don't want to be rejected. Really, a rejection will rejection, yeah. paralyze a lot of people. I want you to understand something. I've been to very dangerous places all around the world. If you go in faith, you will be surprised continually as to what God does to protect you, to provide you, to hide you in the shadow of His wing, to cover you completely. It's not just going to be persecution every day. You're not going to get shackled every second. You go out in the wisdom of God, and you show love and compassion, you'd be surprised at how much you get away with. We saw workers that work here all over the place, not just tour guides, people who work here. They just looked at us. Let's keep going. You go out here in fear and you tremble and you know, you don't believe in that God is with you, it ain't gonna work out the same. You gotta come with authority and boldness and nothing else. If you're not ready to do that, you need to stay at home until you're ready, all right? Let the brothers take you out, mold you, disciple you, build you up, you can do it, but you gotta wait for your time to come. And the best thing you can do is seek to be filled with the Spirit of God, because Amen. when you get Amen. that Spirit and He fills you up and He gives you power, you can't not go, all right? I'll see you in the next one. That's good, man.